Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be doing a little get ready with me and showing you guys my everyday summer makeup routine. Lately I've been doing just like a, a light makeup look that has really helped me feel a little bit more refreshed and put together but it's not like I'm wearing a ton of makeup like I have a makeup tutorial on my Instagram profile under my makeup routine highlight and that is my like when I'm filming or I'm going out with friends like date night my more intense makeup routine so Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday casual makeup routine. I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair. I'm going to get cut soon. I know I mentioned that in my last vlog. I know it's not that long, but it feels so long to me. If you've been around since the beginning, you remember when I moved to Boston, I cut my hair. Like looking back at pictures, it was way shorter than I thought it was at the time. I mean, it was like here. And looking back, like I don't know if I'll ever go that short again. Like it was great for the time when I like needed a change but now I'm looking back I'm like that was just too short <laughs> so when I'm getting it cut in a couple of weeks and I think I might just do like I don't know is that like two inches maybe anyway besides the point I'm gonna do my hair too and I uh posted a little get ready with me on my TikTok recently asking you guys if you do your hair first or your makeup first I change it up every single time it just like simply depends like at this very moment I think I'm just gonna do my makeup first <laughs> but I literally just washed my face in the shower let let me show you the face wash I've been using lately. I feel like I look so pale right now. I don't have any self tanner on at the moment. I've been trying to work on my like natural tan, but I don't have time to lay out these days. So this is the face wash I've been using. It's actually a powder. It's a deep pore minimizing and polishing powder cleanser. So it literally comes out as a powder, but as you like mix it together with water, it becomes like a foamy wash. And this is by Kiehl's, but I've really been enjoying this lately. I feel like it's made my skin a lot smoother and obviously like my pores aren't as big. I'm feeling very polished. So I don't know if I've ever shared my skincare before on YouTube, but I don't think I've changed anything. Actually, I probably have, <laughs> but I go in with the Polish Choice Exfoliant. I just do this on my hand and on my face. Next is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate with Vitamin C. I was recently sent a bunch of these products from Kiehl's and I've been using them religiously and I've really been enjoying them. Um, I posted about these on my blog on my currently loving list. I'll link the blog post that I did with all of my skincare products. They're all linked and lined up in the order that I use them in. And then I've been using this, again, a vitamin C eye cream. Y'all know as I am getting older, I'm about to be 24 this June I'll be 24 <laughs> and um, you know I've been trying to take my skincare more seriously be I'm trying to be really consistent with it because in the past like and honestly it's still today sometimes I'll just slap on sunscreen and go on with my day <laughs> but especially at night too I just will just wash my face and put on moisturizer and go to bed but I've been trying to be really good about doing all of my steps because I think it does help especially the eye cream so this is my favorite sunscreen the unseen sunscreen I have been wearing sunscreen daily, probably ever since I was 14 or 13 years old. If you don't do a single thing, put on your sunscreen. <laughs> okay, so that is all for my skincare. Now my light makeup. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil that I am out of, but I just got another one. This is the shade Soft Brown, and I just very lightly fill it in. I do apologize that I don't have my ring light. Grant is on a call, and I totally forgot to grab it out of the, the office before he hopped on his call, and I need to get this video done so he can edit it and have it up in time. So we are making do. <laughs> without it. I promise I am trying to get better about planning my videos. Sometimes the day just gets away from you. For my face base, I've been using either the Bobbi Brown BB Cream or Intelligent Elixirs. I feel like this product is really old. I don't think they make it anymore. I think this might be breaking me out and I probably, I just need to throw it away. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one. This is just, this is shade natural. So this has even extra SPF in it. 
perfect. See, it doesn't even look like I have anything on my face. It feels very light and it blends very well. Next new product that I have been using is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is a great alternative to the NARS concealer that I also love, but this one is like literally three bucks and this one dot is honestly probably too much. A little goes a long way. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, perfect. Next is my Makeup by Mario contour stick. I just do a little bit of this and blend it out with the brush that comes on the other side. Okay, perfect. Next, I'm going in with my NARS blush. Now I take my contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the light to medium palette. And I take these two lightest shades and the highlight, like I guess they're both highlight, I don't know. But I do this all over my eyelid and I take the highlight and do it right under my brow. And then I take a fluffy blending brush and I take a darker shade and go on the outer corner of my eye and kind of blend that out just to create like, like a little bit of something on your eye, but it's not like a full on eyeshadow look per se. It just gives you a little bit of something something. So now I go back with the highlight and put that in the corner. Great. Okay, now I'm going to curl my eyelashes into, well actually I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then I need to do my setting powder. I've been trying out this new setting powder from Jones Road that they sent me. I believe I'm getting this correct that Bobbi Brown started Jones Road, I believe. But this is a new product of theirs. It's the um, it's the tinted face powder. I have it in the shade untinted and light. And they also sent me this powder brush. So I've been using this lately and I really enjoy it. So this is without, you can see, well, I don't really know if you can see on the camera, but my skin does tend to get quite oily. And this is just, I just lightly put it all over my face. I kind of use this in place of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I think it's great for summertime because like I said it makes you look less oily but it looks very natural you know it's not like super duper matte perfect I just did my waterproof lash paradise mascara on my eyelashes I just did one coat and I'll let this dry and go back and do another coat and then this is my buxom gloss in the shade dolly I'm actually gonna do my hair first before I put this on otherwise it's gonna get all in my hair um, but let me walk you through how I do my hair on an everyday basis. So usually if I'm being honest, I will go, you know, a couple days in between washes, but during the summertime, it just depends on like my workout schedule. And like, I would rather just wash my hair than try to deal with dry shampoo. So I do wash my hair fairly often, I would say probably like, I definitely wash it more in the summertime than I do any other time of the year. I have been using this Moroccan oil protect and prevent spray for color treated hair. Not only does it smell amazing, but it makes my hair soft and smooth. So I've been using this. I use this, um, I just spray it through and brush it out. And then I'm just gonna um, section it and blow dry it with a normal blow dryer before I use my dry bar round brush dryer. Okay, I just popped in three rollers. I'm gonna give it a little spray with some hairspray. This is the Avita Air Control Light Hold Hairspray. I also just wanna say, I usually do not, every time I wash my hair, I don't blow dry it. Um, for the sake of the video, this would be what I would love to do on an ideal day to do my hair every day. But um, it does take me like, you know, I mean, not too bad. It's like a solid 30 minutes. Usually I'll wash my hair and I'll just let it air dry or like at the end of the day, I'll wash it and sleep with it wet and just like put it in a, a claw clip or something. <laughs> so know that this is not my, the makeup part is something that I have for they've been doing every day. The hair part, not so much. <laughs> this would be an ideal world scenario. So I'm gonna take these out real quick. 
Note curl rollers just add a little bit of flip and a little bit of volume, nothing too crazy. I always get comments of people saying, that did nothing, that did nothing. And you know, I don't share my natural hair too often, but let me just tell you, it does do something for me and it makes me happy. So <laughs> that's why I do it. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Look at that long hair. <laughs> okay, so we are pretty much done here. I'm gonna put on another coat of mascara. There we go. Eyelashes are done. I'm gonna put on a little bit of my lip gloss. I'll link everything that I used in the description box below. So if you're interested in anything, be sure to check it out. Um, and yeah, we are pretty much done here. My summer ideal makeup and hair scenario, makeup and hair routine. Yeah, let me show you what this looks like in better lighting. Let me take you to our bedroom window. Okay, and voila. Hopefully this looks better. The sun is shining outside today. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. And so my time, it is only 10.30, yay. Um, honestly, a little bit later than I would like to be ready. <laughs> I'd like to be ready and ready for the day by 9.30, but we got a little bit of a slow start today. That's okay. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys would like to see. Of course, I'll keep the vlogs rolling, but you know, I like to change it up too and challenge myself a little bit in the YouTube space. So if there's something you would like me to try, try or review, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.